On the road, yeah, back again, and today we're going to a place. A place in England that's not quite south, but it's not quite north. I guess it's the Midlands, isn't it? Must go north at some point, must go north. But we're halfway there because we're going to a place called Northampton. We're just going in, all right, let's go for it. Name, Northampton Town. Founded in 1897. They currently find themselves in League Two of the English Football League and play their football at Sixfields, which is also known as the PTS Academy Stadium. And it has a total capacity of 7,798. In the previous On The Road video, we visited Dagenham and Redbridge. Dagenham and Redbridge. Yep, that happened amongst other things. And if you could do me a massive favour, if you didn't check that one out, please go and check it out. Actually asked, as usual, for 10,000 likes in that one. Did we get 10,000 likes? Yeah, we had a good go, didn't we? Almost. Maybe it's the non-league thing. Look, Football League, we're back. Can we get 10,000 likes on this? I would hope so. That click is a simple sign of your support from you to me, and it don't take long. And if you actually really enjoy these videos, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button. Because that's you telling me I want to see more of this stuff. If you want to see it early, then hit that bell for notifications so that you know when a new video hits this channel. Anyway, on with the video. Other than needing my windscreen clean, we're off to Grace. Obviously, my old manner is where we're going to be picking up Charlie today. What's that? You don't know who Charlie is? Wow. You need, to, you, need to, you need to get on board. So I'm afraid today there was issues with the whip restriction that no one wanted to go through. I don't know what was going on down there, but I couldn't get there. So we've gone around the other way. We're going through the town. But I know how many people love the whip restriction that no one wants to go through. So I'm going to add a clip in here with some lovely music as a memory. And don't worry, it'll be back soon. On the road, yep, yeah, round the corner from the complex. Break. And when you're ready, we will continue driving. There we go. So we've entered the complex. Really need this windscreen clean. Charlie? What's Charlie doing there? I mean, it's a good thing. He's keen. He's ready to go. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. He's got his bass packed. He's got... He's, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. It's a bit of a story. I'll let Charlie in the comments below explain the reasons for packing his bags. Where's he going? Anyway, I could take the 2 hour and 10 route to Northampton, but instead we're going to take the 1 hour 43. I think that's smart. Flick to the bloody A13 where we're leaving the bloody A13 to get on the big bad boy M25. I'm pretty sure any long time on the road viewer has got the gist of this by now. And I'm also pretty sure that any viewer of Final Destination 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 is screaming at me telling me to get in the next lane. Don't worry, I'll do better than that. I will overtake the Final Destination Norrie and make our way towards the Bell Common Tunnel. At which point I will say, at the end of every tunnel, you know there's light at the end of it. Story checks out. Now, considered leaving Junction 16 for Wembley Stadium, but it's Northampton v Cheltenham in League 2. Gotta get to six fields. Greg and Eddie having a race to get there and all. Which point the route trucks us onto the M1, the absolute backbone of England. Now, the one that takes you up north. On the journey, I also considered going to Whipsnade Zoo, but yeah, look, I've got a game to see. Imagine one day I just said no. Here's some meerkats. It wouldn't go down well, but I'll tell you what is going down well. John and Lewis, tag team there. What happens when you work as a team? Well ahead of Eddie and Greg back there in the race to get to Northampton. As we move on, Satius Navius has just said to us, Do you want to save four minutes? I said, Yes, I will save four minutes. So it's chucked us onto the A5 towards Owlsbury and Dunstable. So much trust in Satius Navius, I tell you. Upon following the route, we've ended up in a town called... Uh, Tod Toddington, was it? Not that we needed any petrol, but I spotted this. They must have a cash point, so I'm going to stop in here to get some cash, just in case they don't take cash at Northampton. So the conversation kind of went like this. Do you want anything? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if I want anything. I'll tell you. What's going on with that car? Splat. Yeah, do you want anything? Nah, I might hold out to get a cheeseburger at Northampton. Don't you worry about that. Meanwhile, Charlie says that he's going to get a Mountain Dew. I kind of wish I didn't introduce him to it because it's very unhealthy. So much sugar going into that boy. And there goes that brand deal. Great. Keep doing it, don't I? Keep doing it. Anyway, whilst getting cash out, Craig emerges. Two bottles of water. One in each hand. Geezer. In goes Harry. He's just spent 44.63 on unleaded Supreme at pump two. Eventually, I get the cash. One pound 75 fee, though. Cheeky. Tony emerges with some toilet roll. And then what looks like a suspicious character is about to enter the comp Complex. We'll call this one Suspect A. The way he walks, don't trust it. Don't trust it for one second. Anyway, Suspect A makes his way into Logo and passes Charlie in. In that right hand of his, he's got him out in doing he? Also leaving Loco, we've got Darren. Bag of stuff, but also baguette. I'm guessing within the bag there is a can of soup. Can't guarantee the flavour. Gonna stick my head out and say oxtail. Didn't see her enter, but Maureen leaves. We've nothing too. Maybe she pay for the diesel. In addition to Harry's petrol, he's picked up the milk. Teas and coffees on him. And then the very moment you've been waiting for, Suspect A leaves the building with nothing. Still got that walk on as well. Potential items in bag, although it doesn't look any bigger than before. So it could be a small item. He's going back the way he came, so I don't think he's got a drink for a long journey. He looks young, but he's trying to be old. Maybe he's bought fags. Sorry, Americans. Uh, uh, cigarettes. I mean, to be honest, we'll never know. Never know. Anyway, we're ready. Vote in the poll above. You know what's right, though. You know what's right. Anyway, we continue our trek through Toddington. Nice little place, this. At least one murder a year, and everyone points the finger at each other. Eventually, we find the national speed limit signs, which means we're going to get going, going, going. Although, well, it just takes us down country roads again, and we're not going, going, going. In fact, Satyr's Navis takes us right into another village called Woburn. I mean, I'm really failing to see how this is saving us four minutes. But it's got to be said, Woburn, another nice place. A bit more built up than Toddington. I feel like Woburn looked down at Toddington. I bet it all kicks off in the yearly cricket match. Right down to the point of where they don't even put a spread on for the opponents. Shocking behaviour. Absolutely shocking. We eventually leave Woburn where a very
very dirty voxel who's desperate to express their views on making hockey violent again reveals a sign for the motorway. It's the M1. We're back on it. Here we go. At which point we see this sign, welcome to Northamptonshire. We're getting there. More signs suggest that we're getting really near. Oh, did you know Silverstone's around the corner? But most importantly, Northampton, we are in you. So we make it onto a roundabout and we're going to ignore the first exit. We're also going to ignore the second exit. But the third exit, we just cannot ignore. Reason being, is where we're going to be parking for today. Price on the door, three quid. As a game, take my money. That's going to be £3 on parking. Lady also said the car park closes at quarter past five. That's going to be a rush. So what we'll do is we'll pull in on this grass verge here. And we're out. Fresh air. Time for a walk. Charlie with his ankles out. He's apprehensive, but the going is good to soft. He's ready to roll. As we start the walk, we spot a glove. There's been a murder. Which point I realise I forgot my phone. Got to go back. And as I make it back, I see all sorts of chaos. Got the phone off we go. Part of me wants to help, but what am I going to do? Charlie thought about it too, but he said he didn't want to ruin his trainers. They didn't need us anyway. They've got out of the mess. Happy days. Our walk continues and we spot more things. There's definitely been a murder. Muddy grass soon turns into a path. A path which leads us to what looks like a giant bus stop. But it's not. It's Sixfield Stadium, home of Northampton Town Football Club, which boasts the club shop. Oh, hello, Scott. How you doing, mate? This kind man in a high vis showed us the way to collect tickets. He brought us to the fan info point where we did indeed collect the tickets. Suddenly, we flick to a bar where Charlie needs a beer, and he's now a very happy man. And then it's onto the food station. He's got a little underground bit in the station. Yes. It's really cool. They've got hot dogs, cheesy chips for Charlie, cheeseburger. In fact, they've gone all out for Charlie. Vegan food served here. Here's a cheeseburger. More importantly, look at that. He's pink. That's a beetroot burger. And he's tucking right into it. Look at that. Got to mention we spent 4 50 on my cheeseburger. Following that, we have nothing because they're being quite funny about the camera. So I'm going to say we don't have any turnstile clicking in this video. But the ticket for this game was 24 quid. We did manage to get in with the camera and we suddenly find ourselves on the other side of the turnstile where we normally say, Football! Hey, Smith. All the way down from New Zealand. Football! 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 <laughs> Cheers everyone, so as we make our way up the stairs, we find ourselves at the gaming zone. Well, there's no games, so we can't play no games. So instead we're gonna go and watch one. Into the ground we go, and up to the back we go, where there is a severe lack of leg room. Despite that, here is our view for today, and at the moment justice for shoes is definitely not a thing at Northampton. But they got flags, lots of flags, you know what, that makes me happy. Who doesn't love a flag? So I was told to sit in the west stand upper in this particular section, because that's where all the atmosphere is. No one here yet though. Over the far side we have an unfinished east stand. Apparently the story goes like this, Northampton Borough Council lent them 10 million, and then that money kind of went missing, so um, unfinished stand. There's probably more to it. Go read a book. Over there, we've got the North Stand, which backs onto a hill. Running late for a game? Just roll on down. And then, of course, at the opposite end, we've got the South Stand, which is where the away fans are, but we can't really see them because, well... Clearly. But they've got a screen. It's 4 by 3 but it's a screen. And that's what matters. And they're right, Paul. In the distance, we've got a chimney similar to the East Stand. It looks unfinished. Just like the Shard. Looks unfinished. That is one on-trend chimney. And here we go. The party has arrived. And on the sideline, we've got a vigorous workout from the referee. Mr. Referee, sorry. So I mentioned the legroom. Struggling. And for the size of Charlie, even he's struggling too. Got a quick sprinkle to the pitch because this place is so hot. And some final preparations from Darren and Ian down there. Big shout out to them for making the beautiful game look beautiful. But today's game is almost upon us. Flags in abundance. <laughs> What the hell is that? We'll work it out in a bit, I'm sure. Right now, we've got some handshakes. We've got Apprentice Gary for the media team who's holding some sort of gimbal. Steady shots is what the fans want to see. Consider taking a photo of the football early on to put on my Instagram, but my phone's ran out of battery. Annoying. Now, to see the year out, Northampton held a memorial to remember those that unfortunately aren't with us anymore. And the big screen, put into very good use. <laughs> So we're back and I finally worked out what this is. It's a dragon. A very sad dragon as well. I hope he's alright. Anyway, ref's ready to go. You ready to go? Let's go. One minute in, someone takes a tumble in the box. It's early doors, people. Early doors. It's Cheltenham who got a chance to take the lead from the spot. Far too much swearing for Malcolm's liking. He's got to do something about it. He's going he's gonna to do something about it. Off he goes. He's going to do something about No, he's not. He's going to... He's gonna, he can't do anything about it. Actually, no, he's going to. He's on the radio. Right, I'm chucking them all out. They said the F word. One nil! And you still got to see. One nil! And you still got to see. It's Malcolm. 
bad what a name does to attract someone to your brand. Blah Blah Catering. I'm genuinely intrigued. Is the Blah Blah Catering website home of fantastic fresh food delivered across the beautiful country of Northamptonshire? County, sorry. Corporate events, weddings, birthday parties, christenings, baby showers, funerals, even divorces. And thanks to our giant screen, 16 minutes gone and well, nothing else has happened other than the penalty. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. 16 minutes gone and nothing else has happened other than the penalty. Blah, blah, blah. I still can't do it. The penalty, right? That's all that's happened in this game. Spotted it now. For a second, I did think it was real. I'm now 99% certain that that's not the case. Chelton with a dangerous ball into the box. <laughs> and then we've got an injury. So whilst we wait, Charlie's on the phone taking a photo of the football. Nathan's texting the missus. Danny checking the team lineup. And Brian, don't know what he's doing. We turn our attention to the corner flag. Slight easterly wind. The flag is Self meets all regulations. Yeah, it's alright. It's a pass. 32 minutes gone and still not really anything to show in this game. It's been very, how do I say, just hoof up the field. But eventually we do get a free kick for Northampton. Over the ball. Saved by the keeper. Rebounds. <laughs> Nine on the clock, Northampton Town 1, Chopton Town 1, Town Town. An observation. You're not anymore. Yeah, they're not singing much either, are they? Actually, tell a lie, they are. Yep, shoe army. Northampton famous for making the things that you put on your feet. Did someone say half time? Does this not make their way out to get what they need to get or do what they need to do? We have some form of half-time entertainment. A dragon is going to deliver a pizza from Bella Italia to someone in the crowd. Who <laughs> will it be? Nobody knows. That's the, that's the fun part, I guess. Go on then. Off you go. <laughs> I can't do it, it's painful. Just by granddad letting the crowds go. Now nah, he's got plenty of room to go and get what he needs to get or do what he needs to do. I'm guessing he's 72 years old. Or was 72 years old. That's no kit. I'm guessing he's 74 or 75 now. We're we watching too much Sherlock. Oh, well, we've got some more fantastic halftime entertainment. Crossbar challenge. Nope, we move on. Halftime entertainment at football grounds needs to massively improve. At the moment, Charlie's winning. All he's doing is dancing to salt and pepper. Push it. It's got to be said he's pushing it real good. Just realise I can get a photo of the football today. Sign in on Charlie's phone. Photo of the football on Instagram incoming. Which is that? I keep saying Charlton. It's Cheltenham. Cheltenham are on the way back out. Big Phil returns with a coffee. Gary's now got a seat for the second half, but where on earth are Northampton? Come on. Don't forget, car park closes at quarter past five. Oh, here they are. <laughs> so our line for today is just checking there's no holes in the net, mate. There's plenty. Come on. Yeah, we're going to get the kick off in the second half until Mark sticks his big head in front. Yes, well done, Mark. Oh, look, I just posted a photo of the football on the Instagram. You can follow me in there if you want. Oh, look, it's that thing that football clubs do. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not my phone, so I can't scroll through the comments to see if you got in the video. However, Charlie leaves his notifications on, and they are steaming through. So if you see yourself, fantastic. If not, I wholeheartedly apologise. I do apologise. I really do. One hour gone. <laughs> Not long after, a free kick for Northampton. He's bobbling about in that box like no tomorrow. It's my favourite type of football all over the show. Pinball. But someone, please, just get a shot in. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> It's better, and they're vibing. <laughs> you saw there, the ball strikes the woodwork, which is no longer wood. But they're out for this. They want the three points. And then it went quiet. More shots. And then a substitution. Hello, Scott. You can see one minute plus stoppage time to go. How many minutes? Well, another injury. My prediction, five minutes. Charlie's prediction, four minutes. Now, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> He's always got the right answer, hasn't he? Always. So anyway, stoppage time and the shouts for a penalty. <laughs> Charlie wants VAR. Whilst that is denied, little shove here and there, bit of handbags. Funny, I was one of them YouTubers that used clickbait. I could have marketed this as a mass brawl, wrecked all the views in, bought a Lamborghini, you know. All right, maybe not. Maybe a full focus. But still, gonna add it to the title: red card after mass brawl. But no, we're gonna stick with our guns. We're gonna go on the road, Northampton Town, at Six Field Stadium. Anyway, with the last kick of the game, Cheltenham are down to ten. <laughs> 
And when I say last kick, I mean last kick. <laughs> So 17 and 03, we've got 12 minutes to get to the car. But the queue is just to get out and making me fidget. So whilst we wait, let's do what we normally do. Let's rate this experience. And as per, we're going to start off with atmosphere. It was okay. There were plenty of periods of silence. But when it got going, it got going, didn't it? So let's give this one three stars. Let's talk about the facilities. It's a nice little ground. An unfinished nice little ground. Of course, if it was finished, it would probably push higher. But for now, we're going to give it, just like the atmosphere, another three stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. How was it, Smith? I didn't get many shots of my food, did I? The cheeseburger was pretty good. It's got to be said. Extra points for vegetarian and vegan. Well, from to town, you're going to get three and a half. Finally, we're talking cost. Was it value for money? Well, I've had cheese the food. I've had cheaper tickets. So we're not talking five stars, are we? But to be fair, it's not extortionate, is it? They're going to get the same again. Three and a half stars. Which gives Northampton Town a total of 13 stars, and that puts them into 23rd in the table. So as we head for the exit, we join these people on a bit of a walk, which ends up with us finding the car, and in we get. And then it's queues. So we have it, people. Another ground ticked off. Like all the others, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget we want to hit 10,000 likes. So hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button as well. Click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. If you're new to the series and you fancy a binge, go and check out the On The Road playlist. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.